Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. I thought I'd just put together a quick little Sunday evening update for you, uh, sharing perspectives from a number of analysts in the space. Uh, in case anybody's curious, at the time I'm recording this, it is 7.07 p.m. Central Time, which is my time zone here in the good old United States in the Midwest, and it is January 7th, Sunday, 2024. Uh, and it's been interesting. If you're looking at the screen here. There's a reason I started here. It's just fascinating to see that XRP was cratering down. I mean, visually, it looks like that. Since why? I mean, it got down to 55 cents. And it just popped right on back up. And it's just interesting because uh, Bitcoin went down and just kind of is down currently. <laughs> so XRP followed. And it's like, no, nah, we're just going to go to the upside. So I'm going to be watching this uh, for the rest of the evening just out of curiosity because you don't always see that. So we'll see if it particularly means anything. But uh, regardless, here comes the volatility, folks. Here's the deal. We have this week, we're just mere, mere days away uh, from extreme volatility as a result of news breaking from the spot Bitcoin ETF. And from what the insiders say, it's a done deal. Although not technically verified because the SEC hasn't said so, this thing's going to get approved. It could happen, in theory, as soon as tomorrow, Monday the 8th. But uh, some people think it's more probable that it'll actually get announced on, ten on the 10th, Wednesday. Wednesday. So <laughs> what's that going to look like? That's part of what I want to talk about in this video, but it's going to be absolutely bonkers. For better or worse. And I've said what I think on it, but uh, we're all going to find out together. And again, I'm happy to be wrong because I think it's going to uh, rocket the price of Bitcoin up, but it's going to be a sell the news of it in short order. And um, and then market recovers through the rest of the year. But I, happy to be wrong. Happy to be wrong. Uh, before going further, though, I do want to be clear. I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics. But just as a hobby... And just for fun. And by the way, I came across this, uh, this post from somebody named Palmer Lucky. It's a screen grab from a post on April 8th, 2013. And I've actually not seen this one before. I've seen some old tiny posts from over a decade ago where people are talking about uh, where they're buying and selling Bitcoin. And they're always interesting because, they're you know, it's just a it's a it's a window into the past. And then it always makes you wish, oh, damn it, I wish I'd known. Because <laughs> you know? pretty much none of us were around a decade ago in, in the world of crypto, right? And so anyway, his post reads as follows. I bought Bitcoin at $2.54 and they laughed. I bought more post crash at $8 and they laughed again. Bitcoin stands at $191 at last. It is my turn to laugh. So he actually reposted that and just wrote, still laughing. And you know what? Good for you, honestly. I don't know who this guy is, honestly. He's got a big following, but good for, seriously, good for him. Um, because he saw something and had, you know, the actual emotional fortitude to see something through that he had conviction or else he wouldn't do that. That's, that's such dramatic volatility. Like, my God, obviously Bitcoin's not as volatile today as it was back then. As time passes, as more money goes in, of course, the volatility is going to be decreasing. But it's still, you know, part of the most volatile asset class on the entire planet. But he, he bought it at $2.54 and saw it as high as $70,000, just about. It was knocking on 70,000's door uh, during the all-time high a few years back. And the reason I thought I'd highlight this is just because, like, this is what it requires to be successful in crypto. And I see everybody freaking out. Not, I, that's too much. There are certain people in the XRP community that are noisy right now, complaining about XRP price. And that's actually something that you kind of expect to see right before a blast off hits. There's this, uh, you know, because look, you get beat up enough and that's, it can be a bottom indicator. But I'm just saying, this is the type of thing where if you, if you fast forward a decade for us here in the XRP community, and we're talking about the opportunity to buy XRP at today, at, you know, time I'm recording this, 58 cents. I think it's going to be the same type of thing. Just like for the people that were in XRP a decade ago, same story. Half a penny, ramped almost four bucks, and even at 58 cents now, my God, that, that's, that is life-changing returns. Like, like that's, that's what that offers. It's just the question of can you see it through? Well, I have every intention of doing so. It's always cool to see those. Anytime I come across those, I like to share them on my channel. But uh, here's an ETH USD chart. What, Matt, what are you doing sharing an ETH chart? Matt, that, 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 incredible Crypto had something to say here. And it's not his post, although he's showing an ETH chart, it's actually not all about that. And so he uh, wrote the following uh, just this afternoon, just uh, 3.29 p.m. Central Time. As we approach ETF week, we can expect some serious volatility uh, around Bitcoin with alts at the mercy of its movements. For ETH, something like this 
seems most plausible and should coincide with the local breakdown on ETH slash BTC, uh, mentioned in my post below. It would make sense for Bitcoin to break local highs following ETF approval while alts led by ETH leg a bit and then ultimately follow Bitcoin up. So, you know, it's it's been kind of a sleepy weekend in terms of uh, volatility. Nothing particularly crazy, just regular sideways action. But this is one of those rare moments when we know with about 100% certainty, whether that's going to be one, two, or three days from now, that we are going to see crazy fireworks. We don't always know that, but this is one of those, ins I believe anyway, this is one of those instances where we know news is going to be coming, and it's it's of critical importance. This is what everybody's laser focused on. Like, we know this. And usually the news doesn't matter. It's more like stuff happens in terms of price action because humans are just being silly with their net worth, you know, pretty much. Uh, and then whatever's happening in the moment, oh, well, it must be because of that. That's that's the reason then. This is what's happening in the news. So that must be it. And it's almost never the case. But here, it's one of those rare exceptions where, no, this is going to be it. This is absolutely going to be it. Um, oh, and then there's also this. This kind of made me laugh. XRP surges with whopping $300 million market cap boost. So check this out. In a stunning turn of events, the market capitalization of renowned cryptocurrency XRP witnessed an impressive surge gaining more than $300 million at the commencement of Sunday's crypto market session. According to data from CoinMarketCap, this surge unfolded in tandem with a 1% increase in XRP's price, pushing it to 57.3 cents per token and elevating the token's market capitalization to over $31 billion. <gasps> oh my. However, the euphoria, this is the part I wanted to share, this made me laugh, this sentence. However, the euphoria was short-lived, as the market experienced what is commonly referred to as a round trip. <laughs> what goes up must come down. I don't know, for some reason, that one just made me laugh. I was like, yep. And I just like, this just plays into that idea uh, that uh, some XRP holders have, the most negative and sad ones, like, see, it's just, oh my God, it just won't go. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, you know, we'll see what happens here. Uh, here's what chart analyst Blunt had to say, very popular analyst out there. This is a Bitcoin price chart. He wrote the following. The big week is coming up. Bitcoin traded sideways all weekend in anticipation for this week's news. And I'll pause and note, he posted this at 1.48 p.m. today, central time. And then he says, my bias for Bitcoin is something like this, where we spike up on ETF announcement news, then start a deeper pullback that sweeps range lows. So folks, even though I'm not a chart guy and I just don't ever want to be one because I just don't have sufficient interest in that type of stuff, I will say uh, that is the type of thing that I'm talking about. That's my four fun guess. Again, happy to be wrong, but my suspicion is you, you are going to see Bitcoin rocket up in price in very short order. Maybe if we're lucky, the entire market moves roughly in tandem. That would be neat, but it's, I'm guessing it's going to be a day where when this news breaks, it's, it's going to be a Bitcoin day. Okay, and fair enough. Uh, but I'm still guessing you're going to see a pullback here. And he seems to think that's the case. And, and he's he's a chart analyst. I, again, I'm not pretending to be one. I, it's just the reason that I, I, I feel fairly strongly uh, on this particular topic, it's just because these types of things, historically, they are sell the news events. I don't know why I should think it's more probable to see something different. And even the people that make arguments about the amount of volume that's going to come in once trading opens up on this, I'm like, yeah, I, I get the volume. Like, I agree on that, but it doesn't all happen on day one or day two or day three. Let this thing play out over a span of years. That's all I'm saying. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> and so... Uh, and then he says, so uh, while Bitcoin makes fresh highs, judging by altcoin price action over the weekend, I think a few will make fresh highs as well, but also quite a few will end up being lower highs and won't make fresh highs. Naturally, though, I'm just guessing like the rest of you, stay safe this week. And I say fair enough. We're all just guessing. We'll see what happens here. Uh, but either way, like, obviously, as time passes, more money flows and price go up. That's why, like I always say, it's time in the market, not time in the market. Duh. Uh, here's a Bitcoin price chart shared by chart analyst Igor Crypto, and he said, Bitcoin aiming to surpass the critical make it or break it line in this week's candle. If successful, it could mark the first full-bodied close above it. With four days remaining, we eagerly, eagerly observe the candle shape and position. A rising Bitcoin will attract significant capital inflow into the alts, amplifying the potential for substantial gains. And um, so... Um, that was from June 28th, and I just wanted to highlight that because he was anticipating $47,000 by the end of 2023, and honestly, that's pretty damn close. Only slightly off. We're splitting hairs here. So, 
I thought I'd just, that's why I thought I'd wrap up the video by sharing that because as I shared in a video yesterday, I just, if he is anywhere as near correct uh, regarding uh, XRP's relatively short to midterm term future, we gonna see some fireworks on. Despite what the the, the, the crabby holders <laughs> are spouting on, on the interwebs, right? Uh, but there, I don't need to read this. I covered this yesterday, but I just wanted to mention, this is what I was talking about. Uh, e Greg Crypto talking about an XRP 500% move just to kind of kick off the party here. So getting back to whether it's 250 bucks, uh, $2.50 or, or three bucks, getting up in that range. And then that's when the real party starts, perhaps. So again, I hope that this is uh, as, as precise, anywhere near it as what he was expecting uh, for Bitcoin, because that was pretty darn close, to be honest with you, though. And so, you know, again, you don't need to be some sort of financial guru or some sort of chart guy to understand that having broad exposure to the asset class for a prolonged period of time, it just works. It just does. The asset class is just going to get bigger and bigger. And it seems very clear to me that not only has XRP been a crucial part of this for over a decade now, but it's going to continue to be a crucial part of the crypto asset class. So I'm happy to have a gigantic percentage of my crypto in XRP. And then I just sit here and I wait. It's that simple. I don't get crabby. I'm not, I've been holding over six years. I swear in my life, I am not the least bit impatient. I am having a blast hanging out in the space with all of you. It's a crazy ride. It's been a more crazy ride than I ever could have imagined. Sometimes for good, sometimes not so much for good. As you see, Kim Jong Ginsler, asshat pricks, but we're here nonetheless, right? <laughs> Smile. Everything's good. <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.